All right, we're going to be doing a fluid change on my wife's 1975 Toyota Hilux. This will be the rear end fluid, transmission, engine, and the antifreeze. Oil change is fairly simple. If you guys haven't done an oil change before, take the cap off the top. That just kind of relieves pressure. And then uh, get under here, put your oil drain pan. And then right here, on almost every oil pan, there's a plug on the bottom of the pan. Boop, right there. See, there's the front of the motor. The oil pan sticks down a little bit, and then right behind us, the transmission. So there's your oil pan. All you gotta do is take that nut off. It's actually a bolt. Pull the bolt out, and it'll drain into there. Once you do that, somewhere on your motor, there's an oil filter. And in this case, my my wife's is right there on the side that's where it goes I already took it out pull that off there'll be more oil that'll drain out of that down to the ground so make sure your oil pan is in the right spot and then uh, let it drain out and once it drains out pretty much all then you'll get in here you put that nut back on you put your oil filter back on put a little bit of oil in it so it primes it and then uh, come up here and fill your oil back up for how many quarts you're supposed to have. I like adding a quart of Lucas or half a quart to a quart of oil stabilizer that helps these older motors to run smoother. And then you'd be done. All right, onto the transmission. There's the rear of the transmission, there's the front of the transmission, there's the motor. Somewhere in the middle, there should be a bolt. That stuff in my eye. On the bottom of your transmission. There's ours. Take that bolt off, you can drain all the fluid out. Then put the bolt back in. The hardest part is on the side, there's a bolt on the side of your transmission where you fill. Pull that bolt out. Now there's not enough room in here to be able to get the uh, bottle up in there. So I use a piece of vacuum line, a bigger piece of vacuum line I got from the store. And I shove that in there and I have an opening where the stick shift goes and up here I have my vacuum line attached back to the bottle Then that way all I gotta do is tilt this up and squeeze the bottle Now I know there's about two and a half quarts to go in there well you can't overfill your transmission as long as that plugs off there so once it starts leaking back out of your transmission that means it's full if it's leaking out of that side bolt and then tighten the bolt back up. Oh, and a general rule of thumb, 80, 90 weight, 80 weight, 90, whatever it is. That's what generally goes in these old transmissions. And uh, so yeah, just in case I didn't cover that. Same scenario with the rear end. See, there's your right wheel, there's your left wheel, there's the front of the truck. Down here at the bottom of this pumpkin thing, you've got a nut. You take that nut out, everything drains out of it put that nut back in, undo this nut, and fill it up till it's to the top of that. That's how you do your rear end fluid. Simple. All right, I took the uh, vacuum line off of that. So uh, this is another quick tip. Instead of having to uh, worry about how, how the fluid's flowing out of this, because normally you have to squeeze them and then let the air back in, squeeze them, let the air back in, well, you can actually put a drain plug <laughs> on your... Uh, on your bottle here and then uh, all you do is when you have it tilted up you put your finger on that hole squeeze it you take your finger off the hole you can let the air back in and then when you're not using that you just put a screw back in the hole to plug it up so it doesn't leak when you're sitting up straight alright now I'm gonna go ahead and change radiator fluid I kinda jumped ahead of everybody uh, take the air cleaner off just so you can get to where the thermostat goes. Thermostat's gonna be right there like that, two bolts, and then there's a hose that goes over to this. And then that way you can start trying to flush everything out. Well, I, I took this off first and I'm cleaning it off. You gotta get all the buildup off of here where where your, uh, where your gasket goes, on here and on here. And then you gotta clean off, you can get in tight right here. See how this buildup right here? A lot of this buildup has to be get taken off that way it doesn't corrode all the way through the metal 
and so that it'll have a better seal with your uh, new hose that's going to go on there. Now I'm going to take out, uh, I'm going to leave the thermostat out, that way I can push water through everything when I put this back together, and I can clean it out really good and get a really good flush. So uh, let me get this done real quick, and then we'll get back to whatever we got to do next. All right, after you get all the hoses off, you want to put your hose, your regular uh, garden hose, and put it in the front right here and push water through the motor that way and then put it on this side, push motor back, water backwards through there. You want to put it on your heater hose that goes through, through, through the wall and then push water through that so it gets all of it flushed out. Flush the living stuff out of your uh, radiator and then put your hoses back on, put you a gallon of uh, straight antifreeze and then fill the rest up with water or you can do a gallon and a half and then the rest with water just depending on what all you want to do so uh, we've got most of this lined out we got to do more of a tune-up this was just a fluid change that I was doing on this motor we're gonna do the uh, spark plugs and uh, and a few other things to clean up we're gonna start eliminating a lot of that stuff from the uh, smog pump and everything else baby go ahead and go over there and start your truck she's gonna go start her truck all right, and we can get this started. Uh, there is a leak right now. We just started it up and uh, what the, the heater hose on the passenger side that connects to the motor, it busted. But I'll show you how it runs. We also need to fix the alternator or get a new alternator. And uh, we also got the smaller tires put on, so they're a little bit more proportioned to the truck itself rather than those big, big honking ones that it was on there to begin with. Rev it up a little bit. All right. Go ahead and cut it off. And we'll get the rest of this. So you can see the rest of the way around it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment. Again, this is a 75 Toyota Hilux. I already removed the back bumper. That didn't take too much. A little finessing. Rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Let's see if we can start getting this little truck looking really good. And then Jimmy, it's going bye-bye. See you guys next time.